The Show Show, the Lewis Light Machine Gun, and the BAR M1918 all clearly showed that automatic weapons could support infantry units on the move. After World War I was completed, nations on both sides began rearming with new automatic squad support weapons. One of the fiercest weapons of World War II is the Bren Gun. It spits out 520 rounds per minute and weighs only 22 pounds. When World War II begins, the Bren Gun takes the front lines by storm. On the Western Front, 23-year-old British Corporal Sidney Bates is with his battalion when they come under intense enemy fire from the Germans' 10th SS Panzer Division. Right. When a gunner is killed next to him, Corporal Bates seizes a brand light machine gun and charges, moving forward through a hail of bullets. Although wounded twice, he continues firing, forcing the Germans to retreat. Steve Hazelwood of Oklahoma Machine Guns is a specialist on the Bren and other World War II firearms. It is a tough weapon. Nothing breaks on it, and it's extremely reliable. One of the first things I noticed, you know, coming up here is that this has a, you know, a severe curve to this magazine. Can we explain a little bit about why that is? The main point is the 303 British round is a rimmed case. The case is also angled in a little bit. And so when they rest on the other bullets, it will put up more of an angle. And the purpose of this actual rim on the cartridge is so that the extractor that's on the bolt face can grab onto that cartridge and pull it out of the chamber. It's uh, able to support more of the case um, in the chamber and then get a better hook on the actual rim so it can pull it out. I cannot wait to try this thing out. It's a great gun. All right, let's do it. All right. During a burst of fire from a light machine gun, the vibration of the weapon causes slight variations in the trajectories of the bullets. The pattern formed by this cluster of rounds on its way to the target is called a cone of fire. Demonstrate the accuracy of the brand. I'm going to use that pot as a point of aim. And because there's a backer behind that pot, we should be able to see where all the rounds impact and uh, see what kind of tight group we have. Sounds great. All right, Let's cool, do man. it. Let's do it. All right, you ready? Roger that. Three, two, one, fire. All right, man, two short bursts, got it done, right? We got it. <laughs> you can see there's damage on the backside from even that clay pot exploding. I mean, this is all shrapnel damage over here, but you can see that's a nice, tight group, and that's what you would expect to see from that weapon. That Bren's very accurate. I'm impressed. Partially due to its high-quality design, the Bren is unusually accurate for a light machine gun with a tight cone of fire. Therefore, it is sometimes as useful for sharpshooting as it is for suppressive fire. Coming up, the light machine guns of today. But first, the Bren goes head-to-head -head with its German counterpart, the Buzzsaw. 